In the world of automotive innovation, Toyota is about to rewrite the rules. In 2021, they teased us with the revolutionary compact cruiser concept. Then, in a surprise twist, they bid farewell to the legendary FJ Cruiser in 2022. But what's this? A mysterious name on the horizon. Landhopper. And now, it's time to unveil the secrets of Toyota's latest creation. Prepare for a journey where choices abound, from gas to diesel, hybrid to electric. And all wrapped in a compact yet rugged package designed for the modern adventurer. Could we get more clues at the upcoming Japan Mobility Show? Join us as we step into the shadows to uncover the Landhopper legend. In 2021, Toyota surprised the automotive world by unveiling the Toyota Compact Cruiser as part of its preview of battery electric future vehicle concepts. In December 2022, the long-standing gas-powered FJ Cruiser, which had been absent from the U.S. market since 2014, ceased production in Japan. In mid-August of the same year, Toyota Japan applied for a trademark for the name Land Hopper in Japan. Just two days later, during Toyota's reintroduction of the revamped Land Cruiser, an image was released that bore a striking resemblance to a slightly modified compact cruiser. This brings us to September, with two reports emerging from Japan via publications like Best Car and Mag X, as reported by Australia's Drive. These reports suggest that the downsized Land Cruiser, tentatively called the Land Hopper for now, is slated for production as early as the following year. According to the Japanese reports, the Land Hopper will not be exclusively electric. Instead, it will offer buyers a choice of gas and diesel engines, possibly even a hybrid powertrain. An all-electric variant, in line with the 2021 compact cruiser concept, may also be in the pipeline. The decision to include internal combustion engines is attributed to the platform choice. Toyota is said to be using a shortened version of the GAF body-on-frame chassis, which underpins models like the 300 and 250 series Toyota Land Cruisers, the Sequoia SUV, the Tundra and Tacoma pickups, as well as the new Lexus GX. This platform, for now, presents challenges for an all-electric powertrain. The internal combustion engines under consideration include a turbocharged 1.5-liter hybrid, the 1.8-liter and 2.0-liter four-cylinder gas engines from the global Corolla Cross powertrain lineup, the 2.5-liter four-cylinder hybrid from the RAV4, the turbocharged 2.8-liter diesel from the Hilux pickup, and a naturally aspirated 2.7-liter four-cylinder gas engine reportedly under development. As for an electric variant, MAG-X suggests that Toyota's priority is to make the electric drivetrain viable for the North American Tacoma pickup first, and then adapt it for use in the Landhopper. The Landhopper is expected to have dimensions of approximately 171.3 inches in length, 73 inches in width, and 74 inches in height. This footprint would make the Landhopper 5 inches shorter than the 2023 Toyota Corolla Cross, 2 inches wider, and 10 inches taller. Compared to the 4Runner, it would be about 20 inches shorter and 2 inches narrower, but 3 inches taller. Notably, it may feature a spare tire carrier attached to the rear hatch, similar to the vehicle silhouette shown during the Land Cruiser presentation. There is a possibility that Toyota may unveil an updated version of the Land Hopper at the 2023 Japan Mobility Show, which opens at the end of October. If so, more details about this vehicle, internally referred to as a Suzuki Jimny Killer, may be revealed.
Please feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to stay updated on the latest in the world of technology and innovation. Until next time, remember to keep your eyes on the road and your mind on the future. Drive safely and stay curious.